Hi, and thank you for watching. So today, <laughs> we have our makeup done. I just wanted to get on here and chat with you, share some feelings because it's really fun to do. I have this makeup on and it's been working for me. There are no new products. I just really wanna talk about confidence again. The most effective way, I think, to instill confidence in people is to not focus at all on physical looks. Beauty is subjective and people are able to grasp and appreciate each other's beauty. I truly believe that we are able to appreciate beauty in all shapes, all sizes, all colors, and all tones. I just think that the bigger problem really is to appreciate your own. And I really want to help people with that. Like growing up, you know, I feel like maybe as teenagers we're predisposed to not think that we're attractive. I wouldn't trade it for walking around thinking that I was the epitome of perfection. You know what I mean? It is nice to understand that everybody can improve. When you look at Instagram and you see girls who have pretty much reached physical perfection. For example, Kylie Jenner. I don't see her as crazy confident or anything like that. You know, if anything, she speaks a lot about anxieties and that's not something that a BBL would fix or any amount of makeup or beauty procedure would fix. Confidence is just so much deeper than what you look like. But I do think it's important for women to take some time and actually appreciate what they have going. So we could talk about that first. If you know a person or you see a celebrity and you just think that they're the most perfect and beautiful person, that's okay. It's totally fine to appreciate beauty. That's actually so sweet of you to do. But luckily there's not a finite amount of beauty in the world. You know what I mean? Like, if this person is a 10 on 10, it doesn't mean that you can only be a 9 or below. There can be all 10 on 10 beauties, you know? I personally don't consider it a goal to be the most beautiful because it's subjective. Like, I put myself together in a very specific way that makes me happy. But at the end of the day, with all of this effort, really truly, some people won't find me attractive and that's totally fine. People have types. You have a type, I have a type, people have types. On the physical, it's just all subjective anyway. So I would just say to observe your features and appreciate your features and just do yourself up how you see fit, you know? You just really need to get to a point where you're comfortable with yourself and you're not having to answer to other people or feel like you need to rank yourself in regards to other people. One of the things that I find is the most difficult for people to appreciate about themselves is their nose. I feel like every woman hates their own nose and I don't understand why. I think that out of all your features, your ethnicity is showcased the most in your nose. So like there are like Greek noses, Filipino noses. You know, my nostrils are very visible. Like you can see if I have bats in the cave, which kind of sucks because I wear so much powder and you can see it like my nostrils a lot. It's something I have to really look out for when I am editing videos. I do know that that this nose was made for me and it is a functioning nose. And what else is there? You know, when it comes to features, if they work, they're perfect. My personal opinion is that I don't need to fix any of it. I don't think I'm prettier than anybody, but I just feel that I personally have held myself accountable and put myself together to be the best that I can be and how I want to look. I'm not against nose jobs, but cosmetic surgery, I just don't deem necessary. Just like some people might not deem any amount of makeup necessary. You know, it's all opinion. If that's something that you want, like I'm not here to tell you one way or the other. I'm just here to let you know that you are born beautiful. People don't take enough time to appreciate how beautiful they are, even when they're not done up. And I honestly think that I can attribute most of my confidence to just not flattering myself and not taking myself so seriously. I have a controversial idea. You can totally disagree with this. I don't mind. It's just an opinion. Everybody's entitled to them. So my personal opinion is that insecurity is so closely related to arrogance or something like that. What happened with me is I was just criticizing myself every single feature that I had and it was such a way to live. It was such a negative way to live. I was just obsessed with my own face but in a negative way. So first of all, I just kind of felt like, who am I to be expecting perfection? Like, why am I this bitter that my face is not perfect? You know, first of all, there is no perfect face. I don't know what I was complaining about. Even if there was, like, who am I to assume that there's a mistake done here and that I deserved to have had that perfect face that I thought of. To me, it just almost sounds like entitlement and I don't want anything to do with that. And then also, like, what even is the perfect face? Beauty is so subjective. I could create this idea in my head of someone who's perfect and physically, she's probably no better than what I am 
because I have features already, you know? It just seemed like such a waste of time to be obsessing over this face that I'm never going to have when I have this one and I could just learn to appreciate it. And you have yours and you can just learn to appreciate it. It's interesting to me because of how little looks really even have to do with being attractive. Because there's not an eye color, eye shape, lip shape or anything like that that's just universally known as being the pretty one and then the ugly one that doesn't exist so what really matters like genuinely truly to obtain self-worth is just to have more going for you this is just shallow stuff this shouldn't be taken seriously it's a face like i said it's a face it's functioning it works that it's pretty much all that you can say on the shallow front and I like the way that I do my makeup because it flatters my face. We all have different features and that's something to celebrate. And I don't mean this to be harsh but this actually really helped me get out of my self-absorbed insecurity. When I was younger I was just kind of thinking like if my looks are so bad and it's so negative, then why is it worth all of my time? There's so much better things I could think about. And even for myself, there's so many better things that I could focus on than the negative. So if I really truly felt ugly, I wasn't my type and I didn't see myself as a 10 on 10 beauty, it's fine, but then let's focus on the positive and let's control things that we can control. I know that I personally am not going to get a nose job. I personally am not going to get my face changed or do anything cosmetically aside from makeup. So this is the face I'm stuck with. And if I really don't like it, then I should really just focus on other things that I do like. And that kind of changed my world. So I wanted to communicate that to you. It sounds harsh. I'm kind of like a tough love kind of person, especially with myself, but not in a bad way because I've gotten to a really great place from it. It worked for me. And I'm sorry if this doesn't work for you because like I know tough love doesn't work on everybody. So I'm not trying to bully anybody, but if you really are at a place where you don't feel good about yourself and you like your looks, then focus on the things that you do feel good about and just like let that simmer for a minute. Like you'll come to terms with the fact that you don't think you're pretty in a second. And then secretly when you work on the other stuff, you do actually fix that. So move that aside and focus on really important things. Probably every time I talk about confidence, I talk about like my accomplishments and all that. And I'm not trying to brag. My accomplishments were super personal and they're not even like the goal for the masses because it also is subjective too. And because my goals were specific and things that I personally sought out to go do, when I accomplished them, they made me happy. But there's no cookie cutter goal for anybody, man, woman. This also is subjective. Some people could look at my life and deem me a failure. I'm 31, I'm not married, I don't have children. It's not up to how other people are viewing you, it's up to yourself. So when I took a break from obsessing about the shallow parts of who I am, you know, being like what I look like and all that. When I decided to focus on tasks at hand, when you start to accomplish those, it's pretty inevitable that you're going to achieve some levels of confidence that you probably wouldn't have just by, you know, fixing your face. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Do you agree? I personally achieve goals and it just makes me feel better. Like I said, they're subjective. People could look at my goals and they're not in line with their personal goals, but whatever. Looks are just preference. So there's not an actual rank that I would ever subscribe to. And goals are so personal that I wouldn't really care whether people agree with what I've got going in my life or not. But another thing that I think is very important is just your contribution to society. So I think that, um, I think it was Jordan Peterson was saying, it's like you have a moral obligation to be your best self and that would do well in your community and all that. I'm not saying be a people pleaser and I'm not saying like conform to other people's way of thinking or anything like that. Internet trolls or mean people in public settings, those people who speak out and rage, those are not confident people. You know, I don't care if I have my idea of the perfect body, I don't care if I reached all of my goals, my personal goals, financial goals, career goals. If I was the kind of person who deemed it appropriate to be an internet troll, or if I was rude to people, or if I put people down, I would never feel confident. And I don't know which one comes first. Do the people act like that because they don't feel confident? Because I know that acting like that wouldn't make you feel confident. So do they act that way because they're not confident? I'm not really sure. But I think that the best thing you can do is just work to be a nice person. Like I said, I'm not saying be a doormat. You can definitely have boundaries. You can definitely have opinions that are opposite of other people. Religion, politics, lifestyle choices, and all that. Even 
shallow things like movie choices. You don't have to have things in common with people to get along with them and to socialize well. It is nice to be always polite to people. You can have tact. If people come at you with their opinions that you don't agree with, it's not an excuse to act a fool, you know, like you can still have tact all the time. And to be someone who holds himself accountable and has etiquette, that is way more attractive than any chin shape that you could ever have. You know what I'm saying? I hope this helped, you know, I just think that there's such a lack of confidence going on in the world right now. It's almost like it's contagious, you know what I mean? Like people who are insecure, they love to keep people down. And I don't know why. I don't understand what that would accomplish. Like, wouldn't you rather lift yourself up instead of keep people down? Like, if you want to be on the same level of people, if you feel like someone's above you, then wouldn't that be motivating to reach that level too? I don't understand the point of bringing people down. I'm always going to do stuff like this. I'm always going to try to empower people. I can't think of one negative side effect from people having confidence. So I'm always gonna try to uh, instill it in people who take the time to watch these videos. Everybody's beautiful. And I think that people just need to take their own time and appreciate their own beauty. It's really difficult to do on here, like I said, but um, I'll do what I can because it is really important to relay this message. I want people to feel really good about themselves and for you to know how beautiful you are. And I want you to know that you can accomplish things and you, are worth so much more than the negative comments that you have for yourself. I have makeup videos on my channel and like unboxings and stuff as well, but I like to get down to the nitty gritty sometimes. So thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.